Ta-da! Onward to the next objective! Oh, there's a lot of debris here. Excuse me. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault. But you're clearly not with vault -Tec. What are you doing Nope, here? I am not vault -Tec. Why did you help me? Well, uh... I don't know, really. Time to be sarcastic jerk-off. Actually, I'm here to offer you the bargain of a lifetime. What would you say to a vintage set of encyclopedias? Act now. An encyclopedia? Uh, <laughs> ah, humor. I've been on my own so long, I almost didn't recognize that. My name is Valerie <laughs> and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. It's been a hard 200 years. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. Sirens. Many died. Perhaps they were lucky. Stop, Julian! What? Stay down! I don't want to do this again. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. Okay. Do what you have to do. Boy, you're strong. Bite me, bastard. I dare you. Never mind. There, I blew both your arms off. You just hold still. I can shoot you better. <coughs> okay. There's what one maybe a few more I'm going to shoot your legs Boom There no more running at me tried digging my way to the entrance. With that control board, I could have changed everything. But there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work uh -huh. kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with you. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. Dr. Braun? Oh, dear God. Related well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. Yeah. What are these experiments? Ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two. But... Nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow Ooh, grease. Big thunder. And Dr. Braun is? You mentioned Dr. Braun? Who is he? Dr. Braun is the head of the Societal Preservation Plan. A brilliant scientist and administrator. And, no doubt, dead. A tremendous loss. 
Oh, that's a tough break. Sounds like you've had a pretty tough time. I've had many dark days down here. Even despair. But the work, always the work, sustained me. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff, trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played out, I see opportunity. Let us work together as partners. Well, what am I supposed to do? What's my role? I recognize that you are in a superior <coughs> position. I'll handle the mundane nuts and bolts of vault management. Anything you want, I'm happy to accommodate. All I ask is you run the prototype experiments. All right, let's do it. Yay. Let's do this then. Good. Excellent. We cannot begin until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Okay. I know what that means. That means it's time to get building. Hey, why won't you? Oh, whatever. Building I shall do. <laughs> Clearing out all this. Can I clear out this? Yes, yes I can. Make it all nice and clean, I will. Oh yes. Like a maniac. Anything down here? Get it all situated. I'll go down there later. Vault Tech Super Reactor. Oh, there's something I missed right here. And you, you, that bit, this bit. All of these bits. Looks like Vault Tech was trying to build a lot of reactors. <clears throat> and expand into a lot of areas.
Well, you said you wanted a, an overseer's desk. So, overseer's desk it is. Everything else is going. Bye bye. Of chalk. Too bad I can't break down those folders. <clears throat> Anything down here? Nothing that I can get to right now. This area looks nice and clean. Except for that. I missed it. Got it. And done. Now, go over here. Oh, you want me to do that? Overseer's desk. <clears throat> Overseer's desk. Mm, yep. Just for you. <clears throat> I can hardly believe it. My overseer's desk. After all this time. Okay. Feels nice to sit down in that chair, doesn't it? Well, those chairs are identical. Okay. Hey there. This. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long, <clears throat> but we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. Uh-huh. Perfect test subjects? Do explain. So what makes perfect test subjects? Healthy. Well, healthy enough. And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. Ah, oh, alrighty. We won't hurt anybody, will we? I'm not gonna toy with people's lives. Think of the greater good here. But fine. You're running the experiments. If you choose a risk-free path, it will compromise the value of the research. But that's on your head. Choose wisely. Now, turn on the vault's radio beacon. Certainly people above ground would give anything to live in our vault. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Mm-hmm. All righty then. <laughs> hmm. 
now it's time to explore the vault. Northeast, northeast sector. Okay, there's three different sectors to explore. I'll have to get to that next time. It's a bit tedious, but I got a bunch of clearing out done to make things easier later. <clears throat> and thank you for watching. Thank you especially for watching all the way through. And I'll thank you even more for supporting your favorite idiot, myself, on PayPal or Patreon. Till next time, bye.